This trend of increased Korean arrivals began in 2017, and at the event, GVB touted its social media hashtag Instaguam campaign as part of the reason Guam has seen more arrivals from Incheon, Busan, and Seoul. Governor Leon Guerrero said she had healthy talks with at least one major Korean airline head. Jeju, uh, president and CEO, uh, sees the value of the business from Guam and uh, has some good uh, strategies and good uh, projects coming down that would expand more the, the frequency of travel from uh, South Korea to Guam. GVB Korea had Jay Park also told attendees Guam has set a new record in the spotlight as an alternative to Japan and Hong Kong. While GVB President and CEO Pilar Laguatnia pledged tourism infrastructure improvements to better deal with anticipated increases in Korean tourists. In attendance at the year-end appreciation celebration, U.S. Ambassador to Korea Harry Harris Jr. Harris calling Guam a significant area in the United States and also spoke on our post-war revival, saying he anticipates the activation of the U.S.-Korea private exchange according to media reports of the event. The governor said she had good dialogue with Harris. Their mission there is to uh, improve commerce between U.S. and Korea, and this uh, GVB, our industry, falls right in line with what their mission is, and he's very supportive, and he was very impressed that of our visitor arrivals, 734,000 were from Korea. It's about a 45 percent uh, market from Korea. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports.